Pipers. That, that, that's not gonna help me. It's like somewhere. Is it upstairs? Whoop! Oh, yeah, right. That's right. She she works. She lives here. I forgot. Right, so I have to go back upstairs. I have to go upstairs. Oh, that's Diamond City. I don't even know where I was. Did not know better. Hey, Papa. Hey, Why are people always How busy? Pay attention to me. Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks, and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. She looks like a certain actress. I don't know. And you start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <laughs> I have the Boston Bugle if you want. Newcomers, if the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. <sighs> Thanks, I guess. I'm serious. The Institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. They're not going to take me. Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, lady? I heard of it. I'm just acting dumb. So I can get more information out of you. Better eat up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters. So I guess at this point, the best bet is that the Institute took Sean. Someone's gone. And we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there. And they'll grab you, too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf den, lady. <laughs> so what are you doing in Diamond City, anyway? I came here looking for someone. Let me guess. That someone's gone missing, right? Yup. That's what I'm telling you. What up, dude? What you looking at? Uh... I'm looking for my baby. I guess that's what I'm supposed to get from people. Lady? Wow, you're old. You don't even know what I look like. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. Hi, dog meat. You're cute. And no one's going to want to get the Institute's attention. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this Institute? Well, there is the detective, Mr. Nick Valentine. He's not afraid of anything. Anyone's gonna help you? It's him. What else do you know about Mr. Valentine? I know all the adults who go there won't admit it. Ain't that the way it is? No one's ever really won't admit what? people who help out the most. Thanks. You're a big help. Remember, the institute's out there, newcomer. Watch your back. Okay, little girl. Oh. This is, uh, made it to Piper's office, but I'm gonna try and find up, find out Nick. Blah. Too sweet. Oh. You can't stop the press. Not asking to. Oh, there you are. Vault dweller? I know you're not wearing your blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and that fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. Yeah, so here's okay. the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Mm, I don't know. Is this gonna be? I don't know if I want you to be with me. I don't know. Maybe. Opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. Okay. Say. Sounds like it'll be fun. All right, Piper. Let's try this out. Good. Let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns. How would you describe the sense? Ooh, I should make a song. What? My family and I were frozen. 
I didn't spend much time. Oh, you spent a lot of time Wait, being frozen. What? They boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The woman out of time. So she looks like Rachel from Glee. Like, how does it compare to your old bit. That's there you go. You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other, and oh my god, the smell. Okay, well, that's gonna be a fun one to quote. Now, the big question: You came all this way looking for someone. Who is it? A son. My baby, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Wow. She Tell me. sounded really heartfelt. I the institute's involved. I don't know. I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You no, that's the whole point of the game is to not give up and find your son, so might as well just do that. Everyone can have their own little adventures. It'll be fun! That you'll know the truth. You get to build settlements and stuff. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City. Give me EXP. That's all I care about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just Can I steal the stuff from your things? I can't wait to see where the story goes next. <sighs> Thanks. Can I steal your stuff? Yes. I have to befriend them before I can actually take their stuff. I guess. What? A washer? Is that what you're trying? Don't move! What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear I'm not a sin. Don't shoot, for God's sake! We're family! Put the gun down now! He's a sin! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no sins. My own brother. What happened? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told him you. If you, the way to prove you just cut yourself a little bit. If you bleed, you ain't no synth. I need a man. Sorry, Riley. That sucked. He's naked now. I also apologize for that. Where am I going? Sometimes you gotta wonder, does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? All right, so I found Nick Valentine's detective agency. We're gonna progress through the Diamond City. I guess the main storyline, pretty much. You're looking for Sean. His tie. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office. You look like Elizabeth. Just a little bit. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, Miss. It's important. You don't get uh. it. The detective, he's gone. Missing. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. Mm. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this... Skinny Malone character. I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You 
said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast away. That's why he's People skinny Malone. About two things, style and body count. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat get up. Please, hurry. Cool. I don't think I can really... I won't try and steal stuff now. I mean, I mean, take stuff. I mean, it's stealing now, but once I make friends with them, it ain't stealing no more. Just borrowing it, definitely. What? Oh. Oh, fuck no! Shit! A oh, hell! No! I didn't mean to disturb you, sir. Oh, ballsack! One more. He's not dead yet. Oh god. Oh god. That was terrible. Bad. I better get something nice for this. Is this melee though? Ah oh, man. I did it in like best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. He caught that detective snooping around him. What does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left. Where the- who the hell's talking and where are you? Ah. Damn it. How do they see me? Woo! Damn it, dog! Ow, ow! Oh, fuck. What? These guys are low, so high level! Need less recoil. The hell is shooting me? much of a spread. Nah, eh, worked. My power armor is not doing that great of a job. Then again, I am kind of being stupid and standing around doing nothing. Oh, fine. Man, your face is fucked up. Someone using the toilet? Hope I get to shoot someone while they're in like the middle of peeing. That would be awesome. Vault 114. Cool. Hi cutie. Dog, you ruin everything. Oh my god, everyone moves too fast. What the hell? What? I 
I need better guns. I need to stop using a rifle because it's like a one hit reload kind of thing. Psst. How am I carrying too much already? Oh, I guess because my helmet's not working. Probably carrying some unneeded. So I realized that my headphones were giving me a little bit of a headache. Because the bass on these things are so ridiculously loud and really heavy that it kind of just shakes my head. possible to- no, not- no. Yeah, okay, still got him. Except he's not dead, which sucks. Damn. Lost the motherfucker. Although... I'm surprised that there's... I'm gonna open this real quick. On. There you go. Jeez, you scared me, Nick. Hello, Senti Sent. You funny looking. The irony of the reverse damsel distress scenario. Mm. The question is, why did our heroine risk life and limb for, an for a bobblehead? That's what. I need you to find someone. I don't exactly know where they could be, or how long they've been gone. Well, I've done jobs with less. Somehow, nice and simple never makes it onto the menu in my world. Yeah, there's cooped up in here for something weeks. wrong with Turns out the runaway daughter face. I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean... Well, how, how, how are you... Anyway, you got trouble... If you're a synth, how do you make babies? But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. A New Yorker accent. Alright, follow Nick Valentine. Nope. Uh. Ooh. Ready for this guy. Oh. Fine! Ditch me! Nikki! What are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be weren't for your two timing dame, Skinny. Not a time. Tell her to write it. Oh, poor little Valentine. A shame you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to death. Darla! Should have left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle. You hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I what? told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Darla, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things... I'm gonna get really close up and personal with this guy. Whoop! This way you do it here, huh? Don't that distract me. Rub us all out. Oh. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. Don't you try to confuse me! Get him, skinny! Boom! Blew her face off. Uh. Ain't nobody got where's the other guy? I want to strip you of your uh daughter bit the big one. Sorry.
Yeah, we'll get out of there once I loot everything in this room. That was pretty easy. Thanks for getting me out. Sure thing, dude. How did you know where to find me anyway? Your secretary. People knew where I went. Who else, yo? Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did. I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about a missing person. No trace of where they've gone. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down. Sounds like a plan, head. Nick Nick. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Oh, that's a mannequin. Once we get to my office, your case is my These old buildings and alleyways give you a lot of opportunities to hide if things get bad, but that goes both ways. Always keep your eyes out and your head on a... Are you here? Nick? Oh god, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me. Yeah. Can you save Nick, this agency, and my Yeah. Dad? Thank you. You're welcome. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Kind of. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Oh, out of your own pocket? Extra. You know, if you're oh, looking for work and you're putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. Yes. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Uh, vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through. Dog meets just behind him, sniffing his what butt. Else can you tell me? Uh. My husband was murdered. He was just trying. Whoa, she's she about to cry? And they, they just. Just. It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. No skin Crinkly. There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much, but but I remember they they called me the backup. Yeah, they don't look like they were Science by the institute. I mean, assuming they're a group of scientists, they look like raiders. Not sure what I don't know. Means, 
Of course, no one does. Remember? We're looking for my baby, Sean. He's less than a year old. Yeah, how would you know he's less than a year old? Why would anyone take him? Good like, for all you know, you could have been Why frozen back. Frozen Why again for like another 200 years. Be taking on but, all of his who knows? Baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, yeah, but the I'm assuming super mutants were probably Who are killed the them pretty quickly. No job too brutal. I'm not gonna want to like save a human kid. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. If something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. <laughs> I don't know what dog the needs doing. Model sense of theirs oh, whole here disappeared. Apart, oh, killing back everything up. in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human. Infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Like you? Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. I'm a synth myself. Discarded prototype, anyway. Oh. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. <laughs> you don't know anything about them. Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what we saw. What does these kidnappers look like? Uh, I'll never forget that voice. Hello, boy. Low and rough, like, like sandpaper across your face. Interesting, uh, interesting you know description. One, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? One of them came right up to me. Old head, scar across his left eye. Wait, it couldn't be. Mm. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Kellogg. Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Mm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar. Yeah, well, a lot of people can have work, but bald head and a scar and be a mercenary. I don't know. He bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him. Didn't he? Yeah, that's Ooh. right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around ten years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Sounds good to me. That part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Alright, uh, thank you guys so much for watching Fallout 4. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Hope you guys are enjoying me actually progressing with the story. Oh yeah! And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!